In this video, I'll be making a shooting target stand for AR-500 steel plate gong targets. I enjoy target shooting as a hobby, and it keeps me sharp for hunting season. I picked up this piece of scrap, which looks like it used to be used on a trailer, at the dump near my family's property. It's a piece of 2 inch square tube with about 8 inch walls, maybe 4 feet long, and it happens to be the perfect size for this target stand. I start by taking off the steel plates on the end of the piece. These look like they were used as the hitch, and they're not necessary for the target stand. They're held on with some welds, which I grind off with a cutoff wheel. With the plates off, I cut the ends of the tube off back to non-mangled metal. If you're familiar with gong targets, you might have seen setups that use EMT conduit as the stand. The concept behind this one is similar, but I'm making it out of more robust steel components. The square tube will have two legs at each end, the legs being 90 degrees to each other. Here I'm marking for the holes to drill through the tube. The legs will be made of 3 quarter inch black iron pipe, which is about 1 inch outer diameter, so I spaced the legs about an inch and a quarter apart. I drilled the first couple of holes with the step drill bit, enlarging the hole to an inch and an eighth diameter. Then I remembered I have a one and an eighth inch hole saw, which is much more efficient at cutting these holes than a step drill, so I used that for the remainder. With the holes drilled, I moved on to making the legs. I picked up this 10 foot length of three quarter inch nominal black iron pipe at the home center, and I'm cutting it into fourths for the legs. In other words, I'm making four two and a half foot long legs. To keep the legs from slipping entirely through the holes, they need to stop. Some short pieces of 1 inch angle iron will do the trick. To give enough stick through for the legs, I place these stops 3 inches down from the top of the leg which will have about one inch sticking out the top of the square tube when inserted. With things roughed out, I do a quick test fit to see how it all looks. Now that the legs are done, I measure to see how much chain I need for hanging the target. Looks like 4 inches will be about right. Since I was winding down for the night, 
I close things off by spraying a coat of primer on the legs and then follow it up with a couple coats of black paint to finish. The next night, I started by cutting a couple of end caps for the square tube from a piece of eighth inch thick bar stock that I had. I tacked these onto the ends of the tube and then followed up with welds all around off camera. After welding, I ground the weld smooth. For hanging the targets, I'm using some chain that I've had sitting around for a few years, cutting it to length with the cutoff wheel. A set of bolt cutters might have been quicker, but I don't actually own any. With the chain cut, I laid out the targets on the tube steel and spaced things out evenly. Then I marked for the locations where the chain would be attached to the tube and proceeded to clean everything up with a flap disc to remove the rust. After that, I welded the chains to the tube. The chains were the last bit of welding I had to do, so after a final cleaning and degreasing, I applied a couple coats each of primer and black paint. To attach the targets to the chains, I'm using some bolted pin shackles. These will make it easy to change out the targets if I ever need to, not that I expect that to be necessary. With everything all finished, all that's left to do is test it out. I brought this up with me when I went deer hunting this year, and gave it a go on the last day of the season before I left. I thought a 9mm would be a good test. Apparently my consistency needs some work, but otherwise the target works as well as I could have hoped. I'm looking forward to using this for many years to come. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for following along. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.